All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. So today I want to talk about hazardous flora. It's all over the place on every single planet, and you need to know what they are. So I hope this video helps you out. Pop coral is probably the first hazardous plant you're going to come across. It's extremely abundant in caves, especially in Silva, and you can find it on the surface of other planets. It is benign in the sense that it'll just leave you alone if you walk up to it. But if you interact with it or dig around it, it's actually quite explosive. Now, this is dangerous when you get closer to it. The closer you are to it, the more damage you wind up taking from it. And eventually, if you're really on top of it, it'll kill you. Pop Curl also has a chance to drop seeds and or research. You can see a seed is dropped here and a research sample. Now, research samples, uh, you can watch my research video. You can wind up either researching them here or you can put them in the research chamber and research them. So the seeds, we'll talk about the seeds really quick. You could use the seeds in two ways. Seeds can be used to be planted again by putting them down and just holding down the F button. You can plant the seed and or you can use them in farming. There'll be a completely separate video for farming. Another plant you're going to come across pretty quickly is the bounce vine. Now, the bounce vine in and of itself isn't too bad. It will jump you into the air and knock you back. You do take some damage from the bounce vine. I think if you wind up doing this repeatedly, you'll wind up dying. But ultimately, it's relatively safe. Now, the bounce vine also can be dug up. It does explode, but you don't take explosion damage from it. And there is a chance that you can get research and or seeds. Bounce vine is pretty abundant on the surface. You'll find it pretty much everywhere, at least on Silva. And here is a bounce vine seed. Here's an example of a bounce vine cluster. Another one of the first deadly plants you'll come across is this acid spitter. Now, I don't know its appropriate name. It doesn't really have a name, but it shoots this blob of acid at you. Um, I haven't seen any seeds drop from this yet, and they're not quite abundant, overly abundant. Sometimes they drop research, but I have yet to see them drop a seed. Now, they're easy to avoid. The acid is pretty slow, but if you let the acid hit you, it you will take damage and possibly die. The spine lilies, which are abundant on Kalidor, are a small clustering plant. They come in various shapes and sizes, from the lily pad style to more of a spiky neighbor. Uh, getting close to them does nothing, but when you step on top of them, they will kind of bounce you into the air and you'll take some minimum damage. Now, the bounce size depends on how hard you hit them and you might get shot up in the air har far enough that you actually take fall damage and die. When you dig up the spine lilies, they'll give you research and seeds. The seeds can be planted to produce more spine lilies and are used in the achievement in an Ashneer's garden for planting all the plants. The wheeze weed is a big puffy plant. When you get next to it, it starts kind of puffing up. If you get too close to it, It'll shoot you away. Now, a lot of these plants, these similar dangerous plants, have kind of a very similar effect where they're, they're bouncing you in the air, shooting you far away. This one doesn't take, you don't take too much damage from the wheeze weed, but it is something to watch out for. It's not quite as abundant on Calidor as it is on Aatrox, but you could still be found on Calidor. You can dig up the wheeze weed, which will also produce research and possibly a seed. Again, your mileage may vary on all of these plants with getting seeds and research. Now, another abundant plant that's found on Kalidor are these little starfish looking guys. You can actually find most of these plants on, on various different planets. But when you get close to these guys, better be careful because they'll wind up shooting little balls at you and getting hit by them is not a good idea. I've yet to find any seed coming from this plant when you dig it up. It can possibly drop some research, and it might even have a research ball underneath it. 
And then you come across the dagger root. Now, the dagger root can be found on the surface of planets. It can also be found in cave systems and probably are one of the more deadly plants in Astroneer. As you get close to them, they'll shoot off spikes. Oh God, now. <laughs> I said, oh God, because I know what they could do. Now, typically you can handle uh, one spike but getting hit by two shots of spikes will normally kill you off. When you dig them up, they produce seeds, sometimes, and research. You know, your mileage may vary on getting research and seeds on any plant. So don't be too concerned if you don't get one, just dig some, dig another one up. Now, the lash leaf is one of those really deceptive looking plants. It looks harmless, and it kind of looks like a tongue. But you get too close to this guy, and he whips you high into the air with a chance of taking some serious fall damage. He's another one of those plants that you can hopefully dig up to get a seed to work on the achievement. But again, getting seeds out of these plants sometimes is a little bit difficult. Here's another plant on Vicenia you need to worry about. It kind of launches these little mini bombs at you extremely quickly. Let's look at another one of these deceptive plants that you need to be concerned about. This is called the Thistle Whip. The Thistle Whip, when you get close to it, will whack you. It actually kind of bounces you in the air and uh, shakes and tries to smack you. This is another one of those dangerous plants that you have to be on the eye for because uh, they look harmless, but they really aren't. The Thistle Whip Seed is also another one of those seeds that's required for the achievement in the Ashenir's Garden. Cool thing is you can also find some really cool research underneath it. On Aatrox, you'll find these giant looking flowers. Now, while they look nice and pretty, when you get closer to them, they'll release a gas and you wind up taking some damage. Try not to do this too much because it will definitely kill you off. Astroneer has a wide variety of flora for you to explore. Each planet has something different. And while I probably didn't cover all of the hazardous plants, you're going to have to get out there and explore them for yourself. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So that's kind of what I know about dangerous flora in Astroneer. It wasn't everything. It wasn't meant to be everything. It was just kind of meant to give you uh, somewhat of an overview of some of the dangerous plants. I'm sure I didn't cover them all, and I'm sure you're going to find more while you're out exploring. So I hope you liked the video. Put a like. If you haven't already, uh, become a subscriber. We have a great community here, and we'd love to have you involved. Uh, and if you want to follow me on my social media, you can find the links in the description below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.